Can I ask you just to put your mic on for me, please? Honourable, honourable members of West Lothian Council, it is with profound respect, regret, so my mouth is so dry, that I address you today, representing the people of West Lothian, who took to your, who took look to your council for protection and support. I stand before you as a member of the UK RAC campaign group, moved by passion, dismayed and outraged by the treatment of this, count, this council as inflicted upon its residents in the states identified with RAC. The Council's response to this crisis has been deeply disappointing. To say the least, while some steps have been taken to inspect Council-owned properties, homeowners have largely been left to fend for themselves a situation that could be perceived as resulting from negligence on the Council's part, despite being aware of the dangers posed by RAC since a report by the British Research Establishment in 1995. The Council has adamantly refused to provide any financial assistance or support. The pattern of betrayal is not unique to West Lothian Council, but is mirrored uh, across councils in the UK, leaving countless homeowners feeling abandoned and betrayed by the very institutions meant to protect them. Losing oversight of the RAC problem and rediscovering it later does not absolve the council of their moral duty uh, inherent in their responsibility of governance. Some may argue that this remarkable oversight, a remarkable oversight considering widespread media articles in 2004 referred to by Kerry across my, to my left has led to the sale of properties with latent defects to unsuspecting home buyers, raising questions about negligence and duty of care. In fact, um, it is imperative that we hold our governing bodies accountable for their actions, ensuring they uphold their duty to protect the safety and well-being of their constituents. The burden placed on homeowners to bear the cost of inspection and potential is not only unjust, but also unsustainable. Young individuals who have invested their hard-earned savings into their homes find themselves on the brink of financial ruin due to circumstances beyond their control. Elderly individuals who have devoted their lives to their homes, investing life savings and inheritances into, into them face a similar fate. Furthermore, attention must be drawn to the plight of individuals in these communities currently undergoing palliative care. Support must reach those who are most vulnerable and in need of assistance during uh, such trying times. You've just heard a talk about suicide. I think take that into context. Uh, most council houses are situated in communities prominently featured in indices of deprivation studies, underscoring the urgent need for comprehensive action to address systemic issues contributing to the difficulties faced by residents in these areas. We are concerned that the Council may be prioritising its own interests over those of residents it serves. The aesthetic appeal of local homes and the value of land should, not be, should be considered separately from any discussions on solutions to the rat crisis. Let's not repeat the mistakes of Scottish clearances. We are troubled by the Council's limitations in buying back properties from eligible homeowners due to revenue requirements and seek the utilisation of the buyback option where possible to offer relief to suffering homeowners wanting to exit properties that are now unsuitable for full repair. We urge West Lothian Council to work with Almond Housing to ensure a fair deal for all parties involved. We seek that West Lothian Council engages with Basildon Council, which is offering over 8,500 to council tenants being forced to relocate, providing ample compensation for renovations and covering all transport and relocation costs. They are also preparing a buyback option for homeowners and relocation costs, uh, which would be benefit. It would be beneficial for West Lothian Council to adopt the empathy and duty of care illustrated in this generous and generous and fair treatment. We implore you to exercise prudence and not to disregard interconnectedness of homeowner properties with council-owned or rented dwellings, as well as the rights of leaseholders under your jurisdiction or those of Almond Housing Association. Emptying or demolishing properties risk rendering adjoining homes uninhabitable for those determined to retain the properties. Thus, a holistic solution must be applied or an offer of a home for a home taken into context at Chestnut Grove, where 13 properties are made of 100% rack panels. Homeowners have expressed they refuse to relocate unless offered a fair price for their home's current value market prices, pre-recent rack news stories, plus 10% plus should Almond Housing seek to buy these properties for redevelopment. These homeowners will vehemently advocate for the, this fair valuation. We seek intervention from the council to ensure a fair deal, as I said before, for all these homeowners. In the case of Dean South, 10 brave homeowners, including Kerry McIntosh, who is with us today, stood against the perceived... Wilson, can I get you to sum up? You get 30 okay. seconds. I'm coming to the end of it. Therefore, I urge West Lothian Council to take the following actions. Acknowledge their responsibility for the uh, use of substandard building materials in council properties and the subsequent risks posed to homeowners due to the failure to address the situation upon the expiration of the 30-year lifespan of rack panels. Provide 
well-researched immediate and equitable financial assistance and support to homeowners affected by RAC, including funding for inspections, I know the council minister is seeking for that, and potential repairs, exploring cost-sharing arrangements. Can I just get you to sum up, please? I, I am, or Ms. Share options. Finish, no. Uh, could offer a viable alternative. In the absence of immediate full replacement, Scotland and Cushing to consider risk mitigation strategies. The recent disclosure by Association of British, uh, Association of British Insurers. Um, is Mr. Very Chair, four, sorry, I really have to stop now because that's in five minutes. I've always said four points, please. 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 Suggesting minimal insurance cancellations um, presents an opportunity for WC to underwrite homeowner insurances for rack properties, spreading the capital outlay over several years. Collaborate with the Scottish Government to secure the right. necessary funding. I'm going to have but to stop now. Thank you. Thank you. Colleagues, I'm now going to open it up for questions. Councillor Maguire, followed by Councillor Doran Thompson. Andrew? Um, Colleague, it's, it's respect in here. Sorry, Andrew. You have a 